From the Gospel according to John Some Greeks who had come to worship at the Passover feast came to Philip who was from Bethsaida in Galilee and asked him Sir we would like to see Jesus Philip went and told Andrew Then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus Jesus answered them The hour has come for the son of man to be glorified Amen amen I say to you unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies it remains just a grain of wheat but if it dies it produces much fruit whoever loves his life loses it and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life whoever serves me must follow me and where i am there also will my servant be the father will honor whoever serves me i am troubled now yet what should i say father save me from this hour but it was for this purpose that i came to this hour father glorify your name then a voice came from heaven i have glorified it and will glorify it again the crowd there heard it and said it was thunder but others said an angel has spoken to him jesus answered and said this voice did not come for my sake but for yours now is the time of judgment on this world now the ruler of this world will be driven out and when i am lifted up from the earth i will draw everyone to myself he said this indicating the kind of death he would die the request that many men and women of every place and every time pose to the church and also to each one of us we wish to see jesus and how does jesus respond to that request in a way that makes us think he says the hour has come for the son of man to be glorified unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies it remains just a single grain but if it dies it bears much fruit these words do not seem to respond to the request those greeks made in reality they surpass it in fact jesus reveals that for every man and woman who wants to find him he is the hidden seed ready to die in order to bear much fruit as if to say if you wish to know me if you wish to understand me look at the grain of wheat that dies in soil that is look at the cross the sign of the cross comes to mind which over the centuries has become the symbol par excellence of christians even today those who wish to see jesus perhaps coming from countries and cultures where christianity is not well known what do they see first what is the most common sign that they encounter the crucifix the cross in churches in the homes of christians even worn on their persons the important thing is that the sign be consistent with the gospel the cross cannot but express love service undeserved self-giving only in this way is it truly the tree of life of overabundant life